Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to do another episode tutorial. For those of you who are new to the channel, I do have a playlist on my channel with previous episode tutorials. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to show you guys a few things that you can add to your story. And then later on in the series, I'll show you guys how to put it all together. Um, we're going to make kind of like a example story together. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please like this video and subscribe and comment a blue heart emoji down below your support means so much to me um and subscribing and liking and commenting helps support the channel as well so i can push out more videos like this for you guys um subscribing is completely free of charge for those of you who think that you have to pay for it you don't so i would really appreciate it anyways in today's video we're going to be doing a messaging scene it's not as complex as you might think but I think that it's very beneficial to have in your story just to add that extra bit of realism and entertainment for your readers. So we're gonna set up a little bit of a scene together and then I'll show you guys how to create your own custom phone backgrounds and how to incorporate it into your story. So let's go. So I already have my art catalog open up in a new tab and this is the background I wanna use for today's story. It is the exterior campus garden night background and I'm gonna be using zone one of this. So on line one of my script, I'm going to write, well, actually you don't have to write it we can actually just copy this and paste it on line one perfect i noticed once i was editing the video that i forgot to cut to zone one so when i do preview the scene you guys might see that alice doesn't actually stand in zone one and i do apologize for that but nonetheless the tutorial still continues as normal and i'm gonna have my character alice stand in zone one stands in zone one stands in sorry stands screen right and alice faces left i'm also gonna have her perform an animation where she is seemingly texting somebody so i'm gonna use the text phone excited loop animation and i'm gonna have the camera pause for one second so that you can kind of see how she's texting in just for a little bit of spice i'm going to add a sound effect so we just do sound phone text and then this is where we are going to start incorporating the phone background okay so i'm gonna open up my preview menu here and also make sure we are tracking our script so episode does actually provide us with a phone background if you search for phone you get this one that is called interior cell phone day i'm actually going to use this and show you guys why you probably don't want to use this one in your story i'll just copy that insert it over here and then in order to get the screen to actually function like text messages we need to use the set format function so all you do is write set space format so now there are three options that you can put here you can put cinematic which I'll explain to you guys later what that is. Then there is set format spotlight. And the one that we're going to be using today is set format, whoops, phone text as one word. So underneath that, I'm going to have my characters' names appear. And this is what's actually going to form sort of the text bubbles on the phone screen. So I'm going to write Alice's name and you don't have to add an animation here because it's just going to be the, the text bubble. It's not going to actually be Alice, right? And the, the way that we get it to do that is by setting the format to phone text. So I'm just going to have Alice say, dude, remember this is now on the phone. Where are you? And then I'll have the person that she's texting who is James say, sorry, I'm running a bit late. My dog ate my cat's food. I don't know, I'm just writing just anything. Um, and then I'll have him say, Tabby is not very happy. Then I'll have Alice say, Your dog, dig your dog and cat, can sort that out themselves that out themselves you need to get over here the show is about oops can't spell 
to begin. And then James can say, I, whoops, <laughs> sorry guys, I can't spell today. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, so I don't know if it's gonna let me preview it like this, um, but let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to take away these thingies so that you guys can see this is the default episode phone text uh sorry phone background and as you can see this the text bub the text bubbles aren't really fitting in line with the phone properly they're kind of going out of bounds over here and also on the top um so i mean you can use it if you want you know but yeah i wouldn't want to use this one so i'm going to show you guys how to create your own one I'm sure that there are other places online where you can download um, one like this or something similar but like I said I'll show you guys how to do it from scratch so since this is the background that I'm using this is where Alice is uh, standing initially I'm gonna go back to backgrounds and then I'll find that background quickly which is this one over here she's standing in zone one so it's this third of the screen this would be zone two and this would be zone three so i'm going to right click on here and then click save image as and i'll just save it as that so i'll just take that out and click save so you want to download whatever image it doesn't even need to be an episode background it could just be a plain screen or anything but because alice is already standing in this garden at the beginning of the scene and she's initiating the text i kind of want to use the background of this background <laughs> to have the phone go on top so we've got it downloaded now what you want to do next um there's this free site called canva so you can go to canva.com um i already have the app installed or the program installed on my computer but even on the web yours should look like this as well so what you want to do is go over here to where it says create and i'm just going to show you guys like a very easy way of doing this i'm sure there are more complicated ways um, I know that it's already here, but if yours isn't here, just type in Instagram story, just because episode and Instagram stories kind of use the same or very similar resolution. Uh, sorry, just to do that again to make it easier, Instagram story. Make sure you're taking this, the one that out without the video, otherwise it's going to be a video and it's going to be like you'll have to screenshot it, it's just going to be a mission. So make sure you take the one that just is Instagram story, not Instagram story video. So I'm going to click this one. This is what it should look like. Next you want to go to upload. Go to upload files. And then find where you saved that background. So mine's over here. I'm just going to double click it. And it will be added to my uploads. Then to add it to your workspace. You just have to left click. And it will be added. Um, and like I mentioned. I'm going to be using. I'm just going to enlarge it. You know. To where I want it. And I'm going to be using zone 1 because that's where Alice is currently standing. Okay, make sure that it's covering it nicely. Next, what you wanna do is go over here to Elements and the, this is all free of charge, you don't need. Go to Elements and search for Phone Frame. Hit Enter. And here under Frames, you can see all of these phone frames that you can get. They are different types. I'm just gonna go for the first one. And as you can see, if I move this around on the workspace, these purple lines are kind of guiding me. So I want it in the center, like there, where it's making that cross almost. And then what you want to do is start expanding your phone past the bounds. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. You can see this purple box that's appearing. It's kind of guiding me. And there the purple box ends but i found that with episode this size is going to do the same thing that the initial one does so once you're here and your phone frame is now in line with this purple box um, that canva gives you just enlarge it a little bit more just to make sure that your text will actually appear so i'm kind of just going to have it take up the whole screen just to be safe and then for the background you can go to position layers click the background go to edit you don't need to do this but i like to do it and then if you go to effects you'll see blur and just click on whole image 
in situ intensity I want it to be blurred in the background um, and now there's a blur background next what you've got to do is actually fill up the space so you can either just get a white background by photos and don't take the one with don't take ones with a crown on it because that's for pro just add this marble one and it fits in there perfectly if you want to and you're a bit more advanced or a little bit more knowledgeable on how to use canva you can actually create your own little like phone text background where you have the person's name saved as a contact and a profile picture of them but i'm not going to do that so you can literally change this background to anything let's say i want hearts i'll just search heart background Oops, I spelled that incorrectly. Go to photos. Um, I think you can go to graphics as well. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. You can go to graphics as well and just set the background of your phone, whatever you want it to be. I already did this and I already uploaded mine to episode, but I'll show you guys how to do it either way. Let me just find something that I like. Okay, I like that. Okay, so once you're happy with how the phone looks, you're gonna click out on top over here and just save it as something. I'm just gonna save it as phone. Go to share. Go to download, save it as a PNG, click download, and then just select where you want to save it. So I'm going to just save it in my downloads. Click save. And you want to go back to your episode script. I already have this open, but if you don't know how to open it, um, hover over the art catalog, right click on it, click open link in new tab. Because if you click on this, it's going to open up here and all your work will be lost. It's just going to be annoying so just open it up in a new tab then you want to go over here where it says backgrounds available for all stories click uploaded to your account and this is where you can upload your own custom backgrounds so it does give you a whole bunch of um, instructions on how you can do it but i find that doing it this way is just easier so you go to select image choose the phone one that you just downloaded as you can see over here you need to adjust what you want to be seen you can also choose a size one panel is fine for me and this is how it's going to look like in your script right then you need to save it as something and it must start with interior or exterior just save it as x dot phone space night click this box and click upload and then your background will be in review these are the ones i already have approved and once it's approved they will actually send you an email to let you know that it's approved but like i said i already did this so i'm going to show you guys how that looks um in the script this is the one that i did i played it safe and really took it out of bounds and even if this doesn't work just go back into canva and enlarge it a little bit more just to make sure that it works properly in the script so now that mine is already approved i'm going to copy this name and then paste it over here so i'll show you guys what it looks like okay now you can see that it fits perfectly in the bounds of the phone and like i said if the one that you created isn't if, if it doesn't fit perfectly on they just go back into canva and just drag it out a bit more um, i'm sure there are more specific ways to do this but like i said i just find this way to be the lazy way and it works you know so anyways now we want the story to continue but we don't want the phone to be there anymore you know what you've got to do now is use the same set format command set format and just type cinematic and then the story will continue as usual so after the text i'm going to have this background again And I have Alice stand in zone one again. Alice is cheer, happy, loop, rear. And then James enters from left to screen left. Then I'll just pause for a beat. James can cough like <clears throat> i'm here girl pay attention to me james dot cough pause for one otherwise things just happen too quickly if you don't pause you know um and then 
I'll have Alice cry, snuff, sad, loop, and say, ah, oh, you missed it. You missed it. And James can say, it's okay. Maybe next time. And then I'm going to save in preview from the top. Okay, so if you're busy writing your story and you want a preview from the top, I find that with a phone text animation, the text still stays on screen. So what you want to do is just copy this and add it at the top of your script. That way it kind of resets whenever you're running it from the top again. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be very weird. So I'll show you what I mean. Let me take this out and preview from line one. Can you see? If you don't set it back to cinematic at the top and you're writing your story and you're obviously going to be previewing it over and over again, then make sure that you add the set format cinematic text back on top. You can always take this out when you're ready to publish your story. But while you're editing it, I would suggest having it in. Otherwise, it just doesn't work properly. So basically, if you have the issue, because I was having that issue before I added this in, uh, make sure that you add this to the top if it's necessary. It's not necessary now because I do have it here at the bottom. But yeah, let me just cut this out quickly and show you what I mean. So you can see if you don't add, add it, then at the beginning of your story, this is going to happen. But since it is over here, it does reset if by any chance it does that again, then just add it to the beginning of your script as well. But yeah, that is essentially how to add a text messaging scene in episode. yeah okay thank you guys so much for watching like i mentioned please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions leave them down below i'll do my best to get back to them without that being said i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye